You love your neighborhood, but things are changing. Some changes are good for everyone, but others aren't. The rents are rising so quickly, many people can no longer afford to live or work in the town that they love. Your neighborhood is facing redevelopment, and as a result, the current population risks displacement. So who is responsible? And how can you ensure that development benefits the residents instead of replacing them? Let's start with the basics. Redevelopment is when a private development company buys property and turns it into something they can make a profit from. Redevelopment operations can vary in size, from a single lot to an entire neighborhood development plan. Ah, good thought. Why not voice your concerns with the city? They might even offer you meetings with the developer or a city-appointed planning authority who will listen to your concerns. The city will look out for you, right? Developers need city approval to build their projects. And here's where you'd want them to leverage a deal to benefit the residents. But developers have lots to offer a city. With campaign donations, project funding, and the fact that new development can bring increased tax revenue, new jobs, and amenities to attract new residents, it's not hard to see how a city might do everything it can to please the developers, often at the expense of the residents. Sometimes a small group is able to voice their needs, but what about everyone else? And how can you tell whether your concerns will be taken into account or dumped in the trash? When you get a new apartment, do you just trust that the landlord will respect your needs as a tenant? No, you need a lease or a legal agreement to guarantee that your needs are met and both sides do what they say they'll do. A contract between the concerned residents and the developer is called a Community Benefits Agreement. A CBA gives decision-making power to the community. A CBA is the only contract that can guarantee that the needs of the residents represented in community groups are included in plans for development. Because in a CBA, the community groups are signing and enforcing the agreement. Developers might not want to sign the CBA because it can restrict their profits or because they're already working out a deal with the city. But development should benefit you, the people who live and work here now. And you deserve to have the power and influence over development. Your power grows with increased participation, with larger, more organized, and more diligent coalitions, with more active members, and through protests, petitions, and participation in public elections, the residents can demand the proper attention and leverage needed to get a CBA. An unhappy public can be a huge threat to both the city and developers. In contrast, addressing the needs of the residents with a CBA will ensure developers benefit from a happy community in support of the development to their city. Here in Somerville, US2 is the developer contracted by the city for a neighborhood-wide redevelopment in Union Square. We are Union United a rapidly growing coalition of Somerville residents, businesses, churches, unions, and community organizations joined in the effort to create development without displacement. Through specific goals outlined in a legally binding CBA with US2 and the city. But time is running out and we need you to join us. Participate in our meetings, spread the word, and make sure Union Square in Somerville is added to the growing list of communities across the nation who've developed with a Community Benefits Agreement.